Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to look at another mead. This is the jalapeno mead. This mead was started on 9-25-2016. So right now it's about nine months old. I still have not transferred it into its uh, third carboy. It's been sitting here. It is hazy. I can see through it a little bit, but there is stuff. I really need to uh, get this transferred. Everything that I put in there, there is some stuff floating. And if you remember from the other videos, what I did was I roasted one jalapeno and I cut it, I cut the stem off, chopped it up, and I stuck it in there. So right now, this is sitting at 6.5 bricks, which the original gravity was. 14 bricks so it's about a 6.15 percent abv right now if we look at the color it is clear very very light yellow i can see through it obviously let's go ahead and get a smell it does have a little bit of a fruity taste or smell in it almost like a jalapeno uh, does it, there is a tiny bit of sweetness coming from it obviously i do believe that is from the honey and this is using the d47 yeast so let's go ahead and get a taste the taste of this it to me is awesome. It tastes like a jalapeno. If you've ever bought jalapenos, cut them in half, taken out the seeds and filled them with, you know, what whatever and then ate them. A very very good taste and like I said, I did only use one jalapeno and to me that is enough because this thing is hot. Yeah, it's that, it, it's almost like pure jalapeno taste in there, and then you get the heat in the back, and it lingers, like I can feel it on the back of my throat right now. To me, this beer, or this beer, this uh, meat is ready to go, ready to drink, so it, I, I think it's very, very good. I could see probably making a five gallon batch. I think what I'm gonna do is put some of this in the fridge, get it cold, and see how it tastes when it gets cold. Uh, I probably will still transfer this into another uh, one gallon carboy just to keep it, but yeah, I think it's ready to go in the fridge, get it cold, and see what it tastes like from there. It is a little bit on the light side, Probably just like with the vanilla bean meads. I probably should have used three pounds of honey uh, That probably would have kicked up that thickness just a little bit in there But yeah, it's hot but yeah, I so uh, I think from this one and the other vanilla beans I think the D47 yeast does work well with like fruit. So far, uh, I think I should say more than fruit, but I guess other ingredients that you put in there because uh, that vanilla bean mead using the D47 and now this using the D47, I really like that. And I don't believe uh, I would have to look back on other videos. I think the bread yeast does get that ABV higher and will eat more of that sugar that's in there to give you a higher ABV. But to me, this D47 is really good. It's not dropping the ABV as low, in my opinion, but the flavors that you're getting from it is better than the bread yeast or the USO5. Now, obviously, I want to do some more experimenting with the D47. Probably make, you know, two, uh, uh, two one gallon batches again and maybe use like an extract or something like that 
and you put USO5 in one and put the D47 in another and just see if the D47 keeps shining in the taste and in the smell of that. But overall, I think this is ready. It was a good recipe. I mean, it's not like it was hard or anything, but I do like this one. We will review it again once it's a year old, but yeah, right now it's good if you're looking for like uh, a mead with some heat in it. This is perfect in my opinion. So that'll wrap up this review. Until next time, happy brewing. Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share and hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.